Okay, so before we proclaim a complete victory over our layout, let's go ahead and test this website on a real phone. So I have here an iPhone 6, and I'm going to load up the site on iPhone 6, and let's go ahead and click around and see if there's anything that we notice that we might need to fix. Okay, so here I am on my iPhone 6, and this is our website, the front page of our website. Let's go ahead and scroll around a little bit to see what it looks like and it seems to look just fine to me. Let's go and click on the menu tile and it should take us to the menu categories page and it does. That seems to work pretty nicely also. Now let's click on the one of the menu categories and that will take us to the single category page which shows us menu items one by one and that seems to work pretty well as well. Let's now go ahead and tap the phone number button and see if it's going to uh, try to make a phone call and so it does it. It is trying to make a phone call. Let's cancel that and let's go take a look at the Menu here on the top right if I click here and then the menu shows up So if I click on the menu, it will go to the menu categories page So Let's go back to the single uh, category page and there it is and let's go ahead and open up that menu one thing that bothers me about it is that there is no home navigational menu that I could click it's only menu about and awards and even though on the desktop version we'll probably get away without it and we don't want to crowd the desktop version but for this we would like to really have other options other than just tapping on the David Chu's China Bistro the actual restaurant name in order to get back to the home page so I would really like to have the home page selected right here there's another thing that's a little bit weird. If I, for example, tap on lunch menu, and try to select the lunch menu, it really would be natural for me to assume that my menu, my drop down menu, really should automatically just go ahead and go away. But it doesn't. It only does that if I actually tap on the menu button. Well, that is something we're not really going to be able to address right now because that's something we, that cannot be addressed with HTML and CSS alone. It needs to be addressed with JavaScript. And we're going to learn JavaScript next. So until then, we're going to leave that alone. But putting the home button in our drop down menu, that's something that we could do right now. So let's go back to the code editor and add that in. Okay, so here I am back in Sublime Text and I'm located in uh, Examples Lecture 39 After Folder and I'm looking at index.html. And really all we need to do is add another menu item and that's actually fairly easy. We just have to find our list of menus and there it is, our list of menus. Each menu is an LI and so we just need to make some space in the front here and let me cut and paste some code that I already wrote. So we want this menu item to only be visible when the screen size is extra small. And in this case, we want it to be active since we're sitting on the index.html page, so that's the home page. So we want to mark it as being active. So in the mobile view, it'll actually put a line through it, like a gray background through it. And all it is is just a link to index.html. And we're also using the glyph icon, glyph icon home. Basically, it's going to have a little like house, little button looking thing. And space home, just to give it some text. So go ahead, let's go ahead and save that. And let's go back to our browser and click on that. And there it is. Now we have home here, if we go to menu, and then we click again, and now it's menu, so we didn't really put that on the, on the menu page, menu categories page, so let's go ahead and fix that. Let's copy that right here. Let's open up our menu categories page, and again, scroll down to the LIs right here, and we'll cut and paste right here, except this time we wanna remove the active out of here because it's not active on the menu categories page. And on the single category page, the same thing, if we scroll down and find our LI list, which is right about here. It's a little jumpy. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna cut and paste. And again, we're gonna remove the active here because on this page, it is not active. Okay, let's go back to our browser and let's click this button. And here we go. So now we're in menu. If we click home, we get to be on home and home will be selected. If we go to menu, go to the single category page and select that we're still on menu. That's good. Click to home and then we get back to the home screen. Okay, so it seems like we've fixed our minor issue except for some things that we're going to need JavaScript for and we're ready to move on.